Hey y'all, it's the Rip One Outdoors. Hey, we're fixing to do a little bit of wood riding here today. That's what I call it, woods riding. We're gonna ride through some old uh, fire guards and uh, old haul, uh, uh, drag roads where they drag logs and logging roads, stuff like that. We're gonna go down in some hills and down some dumps and what have you. We're gonna put it through all kind of paces here today. We're gonna even gonna hit some pretty serious ditches. Uh, hey, y'all, Grab something and hang on. Roll that intro. Yeah, y'all, We last week, last video, we showed a video of how the deer can run the errands in town and all. And we took it and went to the bank, run a few errands up and down the road. But you know, a deer is in its natural habitat when it's in the woods. Yeah, a deer is in its natural habitat when it's getting a little mud on its feet. That's when a deer performs its best. I've been to some places where you could see deer all up around people's houses, eating the flower bushes, stuff like that. But to see one in its natural habitat, now that's a sight to see. This deer here, yes, while it, it will run the roads, it'll perform exceptionally running your errands, running to the bank, running to the grocery store, to the drug store. It'll do everything that they say it was gonna do. But we're gonna try it today. We're gonna show you today how it performs in the woods. Yes, sir, the deer loves the woods. Caterpillar tracks here. Can't even feel them. Rough area here. All right, let's see if we can get through here. Let's see if we can do this without driving through the mud. Try that on your swing.
Yeah, we're taking deer for a ride. Yeah, we've told you before. It's, where does the deer belong? Deer belongs in the woods, in its natural environment. But it will also do a good job. My goodness, look what it did. Oh, man, I hope y'all got that. Regular bicycle out of bent a wheel right there. Hey y'all, we got a 16 degree hill here. Don't seem like it posed any problem. Let's put it up in this old wood road here. Now I hadn't been down here. I don't know what lies ahead. I see a tree over the road down there that may make us turn around. There's some dewberries blooming in there. This looks like an old power line. And I don't think we're going to get through there. So, yeah, I think this must be an old telephone line or something or another. I don't think we're gonna be able to get around it unless we get a chainsaw and cut that tree. So let's just, let's find another path. <clears throat> now we call down here in the south, we call this the deer woods. These old wood roads like this where they, where they dragged and hauled timber out of here. Ooh wee! My goodness! I don't know what's up in here. I wonder if there's any hunters that uh, use Magicycle bikes. Well, you see right here, if you if you haven't tried it hunting, you, you can certainly you can certainly use it. This looks like somebody's old shack here. I don't know what that is. Oh, that looks like somebody's old chicken house. Oh, it's getting rode up in here. I think we're just going to turn around here and head back. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I see somebody saw they had a place there where they had a flag mounted. That's somebody's playhouse for kids or something like that. They drug it out here in the woods. We're gonna have all kind of spider webs on this thing before it's over with. Yeah, where are you where are you quiet cat fans at? People that think you need to pay four thousand dollars for a bike to hunt on. Don't know. Oh, I know what this. I think this will see some white posts there. They used to be an old uh, what they called a pumpkin patch, where 
people come and, and they grew pumpkins up in there and you could bring your you could bring your youngins up in there and gather them up a pumpkin and I think that's the property line there Where do you land? Well, I'll be somebody left a little old GoPro sitting here. Look, let's pick it up. Deer tracks, y'all. He walked right up to that hill right there and decided he didn't want to jump off in that. I don't blame him. And he couldn't go back across the road. And guess what? Deer tracks. And there it is. Yeah, I just wanted to pop on and show y'all. I mean, I guess the last time y'all saw me, I was on the deer. I was going to the to the bank, take a little check, and drop it off in the night drop. That was that was this past Monday. So today, what all have you seen? Seen a lot of woods, uh, trails. Drag, what they call drag roads. Some of y'all been around logging and all, you know, they call them drag roads where they drag logs out of the woods. Been around these dirt pits. Showing y'all how you climb these hills, which it performed perfectly. They just all kind of things that you're going to run into when you go off in the woods or into places like this and you better be on a bike that can handle it and so far the magicycle deer has really performed I wanted to say this I had a lady 
I hope this ain't mud. I don't care about washing this bike. No, it's okay. We had a lady on one of the Magicycle uh, Facebook pages. She wanted to know if she if that she's got the Magicycle Cruiser Pro. And she said, is it worth me getting the deer? And I responded to her. And here is what I responded. If she values a smooth ride, then it's in her best interest to get one. I would highly recommend it. The power, you won't see no more power, ma'am. You really won't. But if you're looking for an exceptionally smooth ride, you're gonna find it in the Mazicycle Deer. I hope I've demonstrated that to you in the last, in our, our initial review, and this video here where I'm riding that across, by, out of, across all these areas where they run the bulldozers and the, the track hose, they digging dirt. Uh, if it was rough, you'd hear my voice uh, being like I was on chat on a like chattering, you know, on a washboard, and you don't hear that. So yes, I would. Hi, if y'all hear something rattling back there, that's my tripod. Just don't pay that no mind. But yeah, I would highly recommend to this lady. Now, as I've told y'all, some of y'all before, I mean, I'll leave that up to y'all whether you think it's it's worth the extra money and all that. I'd leave that up to y'all. But as for me, I would I would pay it. Yeah, I'd, I'd pay it. Boy, that's a good old pile of topsoil right there. Y'all see that? You could put some tomatoes in that. Tomatoes, potatoes, or whatever. Cucumbers. You grow anything in that. So we're going to ease on out, y'all. I hope we've made a uh, good video here for Magicycle showing what their pro product is doing out here in these kind of environments. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Uh, I mean, I know there's hill climb challenges and all that. And as I told y'all, I don't know what it would do as far as a mountain bike is concerned because I don't have mountains here in Mississippi. But you've seen some of the stuff that I put it in. Let's go back around this way. You've seen some of the things that I put it in. And whether that's mountain bike uh, qualities or not, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave that with y'all. But we've already shown where it's a good street runner. It'll run the streets. It'll run the errands. It'll go to Walmart. Uh, and beyond it'll go take your money to the bank and it'll go get your money from the bank trekking bike whatever that is yeah i think it'll be a good one i tell you what i'm really really overwhelmed at and i haven't been keeping up with my mileage here today but I know what my Magicycle Cruiser usually does and how far I can go. And, but one thing I'm seeing is, is the, the extended range. A whole lot more than what I saw with my Magicycle Cruiser. And I'm seeing that with this bike. Y'all, we're going to come back through here. I'm going to tell y'all right now, y'all better grab something and hang on. Hang on, we're going to hit this ditch and we're going to hit it hard. We're going to hit it fast. Look at that. <laughs> I think we slung our tripod off. No, I don't think we slung nothing off. I better ride down here and make sure. Yeah, there's my water bottle. Yeah, there's my tripod.
Oh, I got mud up in there. That'll clean it out. Yeah. Yep. Okay, enough rough riding for today. We've been down this wood road right here. Let's just go through here again. You know, I'm going to tell y'all something. You know the Magicycle Cruiser and the Cruiser Pro? It can handle everything this deer, this, this deer can. But what I'm telling you is what separates the deer is that it's going to be a little bit easier on your behind. No, it's not going to be a little bit easier. It's going to be a whole lot easier on your behind. Because you ride them rough unless you... And I, I've already said that it's smoother than what the suspension seat post can give you. Yeah. It's, it's smoother. Okay, y'all. We're going to hang it up for today. Hey. As always, you hear me say, if you want to buy one of these Magicycle bikes, I, I don't blame you if you do, but if you are going to do it, then use that link. It's in my description on my videos here. My channel will get credit for it. Magicycle likes to see that. Uh, there's a coupon code in there for the deer that's RIP300. That'll get you $300 off the deer and uh you won't be sorry hey check out them other affiliate links for all the mirrors and everything all the whatnots and everything check out check out them also and again hit that like and that subscribe button and we'd appreciate that and we'll catch y'all on down the road